the Spreecast booth with uh, Colin Evans. Tell us about Spreecast. Hi, Spreecast is a social video platform that lets people broadcast together. You can have up to four people on camera, interacting, talking. You can swap out different people at different times throughout the Spreecast, and you can broadcast to an infinite number of viewers. The really interesting thing about Spreecast is the viewers can actually interact with the broadcast itself. So they can chat in real time, they can submit questions that the moderator can approve and pull on screen, or they can actually request to join on camera and come on camera with the people who are hosting the show and ask questions and interact. So you get a truly interactive broadcast experience. And how many people can be on screen at the same time? You can have four people on screen at the same time, uh, but you can cycle through many more than that over the course of a spreecast. So if so I was you doing... You could be the host and have different people coming in exactly. and out? I could be a host or I, I could have a co-host and we could interview 20 people over the course of the spreecast, pull people in, let them do their thing, take them out, and then pull somebody else in. So what's the uh, quality of the video? The video, we just upgraded to H.264, which is uh, the most recent upgrade in terms of the quality of video. So it's about as high quality as you can get, latest and, version. Uh, is it HD when the uh, video is produced? If it's HD when the video is produced, it's not necessarily HD when it comes back to the viewing pane, because it goes to our servers and then comes back. It's an entirely browser-based solution. So um, is it? In, so it's not in Flash, it's H.264? Or no, it, it is Flash. It is Flash. It is Flash playing. Okay. So uh, is that is that actually recorded then? Everything is recorded and archived and available for playback later. If I were to create a channel, um, anything that I create as far as Spreecast go will reside within that channel. Anybody can have a channel and people can have multiple channels if they want to. So then I could embed the video that was created in a live show, for example, and embed that on my website? You will be able to. Embed technology is not out yet, but it will be over the next couple of weeks. How about uh, HTML5? Uh, can't really comment on that yet. Okay, that's a direction you got to go because everybody's everybody's got to be on the uh, on the iPhones, iPads. Everybody, even uh, what, even uh, we're building native apps uh, right now for both the iPhone and the iPad, which will give you the ability to broadcast remotely from a mobile device. So, oh, that's at, cool. If you look at that fourth square on the screen there. We could actually, in a few weeks, be uh, broadcasting from here and have that video feed be playing in the last piece. So you can imagine the applications for news and for information. You know, you can you be walking down the street in San Francisco where we are based and see something and broadcast it back and have people all around the world commenting on what they're seeing in a live video feed through this That's, platform. That sounds really interesting. And how much does it cost to use it? There is no cost. All right, I'm liking Spreecast. <laughs> so that is spelled S-P-R-E-E-C-A-S-T and I assume it's Spreecast.com? Yeah. It is. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much for the time. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you.